Hello everybody, my name is Virgin Raptor and I welcome you to a new World of Tanks video. And today we'll have a look at three, or rather, or maybe four things. The first one being, if you like how it sounds, please let me know in the comment section below. Right now I'm not recording underneath my blanket because, well, otherwise, I don't know how echoey it is right now, so let me know. And other than that, we'll have a look at the Holiday Ops boxes. What, what's the math behind them? Are they worth their money? And in the end, we'll be unboxing free traditional boxes. Because, well, I don't have 75, I don't have enough money like Quickie Baby does to unbox 75 boxes and I already did 12, but it didn't record well because OBS is trolling me. So now let's have a look. Is recording? Yes, it's recording. Nice. So well then, let's have first a look at the math behind such boxes or things in that direction. And uh, it has to do with probability. And for that, I made small little diagrams to uh, understand or try to explain to you with how often or when exactly you could get a type 95. And why I'm taking a type 95? Because if I would make it with four different things, it would be a little bit more annoying to make diagrams of or make this um, illustrations. And um, we would do it with Lorraine, with the Scorpion G, with the T26 E5 and the Type 95. So I'm just doing it with Type 95. So now we have a theoretical, um, let's just say, we have a theoretical box. In this box, you have a 5% chance to get the almighty Type 95. And the other 95% of the time, you won't get anything additional. So right now you have a 5%, you have a 95% chance to not get a Type 95. If you go further down into such a diagram, you can make this diagram again. And now the chances are of the two boxes to still not have the type 95 is 95 times 95 divided by the chance of the first 100 and the chance of the other. And we still have a 90.25% chance of the two boxes to not have the type 95. And I guess you know already where this math is leading, right? If we go forward, we can even do some bigger stuff like, well, yes, 12 times. We can buy 12 boxes. And if we have a theoretical chance of 5% in each of those boxes to get a type 95, we would have in the end of the 12 boxes still only a 46% chance to, get, um, to, got, to have gotten the type 95. But in the end, the chances are that we still didn't got anything out of all those boxes, out of all of those 12 boxes, still 54%. And you're asking yourself, why do you, uh, or why are you trying to explain to me math right now? First of all, speaking and second of all, probably out of math already. But I want to show you, I tried to show you this picture of that it's, yes, it is luck, totally. But... This is the math and sadly, the more boxes you buy, the higher chance it is that you will get something out of it. And yes, it is kind of a bad uh, thing to do if you think about it in the end. And right now we have a 95% um, chance to not get anything. What if we have a 99% chance to go not get anything? And here goes the math cre crazy high. If you now think about that, in 99% of the cases or the 99% of the boxes, you won't get any tier 8 tank. You brought 12 boxes, which is 20 euros so far. You still have an 88.6% chance that it didn't got anything. And well, we can now make the, we can actually try and make the math ourselves. We can try and say, well, we have a 99% chance to not get anything and we are buying 25 boxes, okay? And we are going to put that into um, clamps and now we're going to divide that by our 100% chance by 20 times 25 to the power to 25. And we now brought in a chance of 99, uh, in a chance of not getting 99% anything, 99% of the chance you don't get anything. You, you brought 25 boxes. The chances that we, after the 25th box we've unopened, is still 77%, 77.78% that we, we do not get anything out of it. 
So yeah, I hope I was able to explain to you graphically that those boxes are a huge luck thing. And that when the chances to get something are really, really low, even though you invest a lot of money into those boxes, the chances or the stakes are still high that they didn't got anything yet. So, are those boxes worth their money? That's the next question. And oops, there we go. In, first of all, we need to find out what is all in those boxes in it. So, let's Let's put it right here. Okay, let's let's take the, the, the traditional um, Christmas. All of those have the same thing. So sadly enough, you can only buy boxes in a pack of three, with which being um, now six Swiss francs forty-five, which is five euros or six dollars. I would say just just round it up a little bit to get a real number. So in each of those boxes, you get at least 20, 250 gold which is fair, I guess. Plus, you get at least something from here. And now let's take the, um, what's it called? Let's, let's try to take the optimistic approach. We get either one day of premium, 250 gold or 100 credits. If you get one of this, we can have a look at exchange rate for 100,000 credits. And it is exactly 250 gold. Now we can also have a look at an emblem. So let's see if we can find anything. I, I think I got an inscription for um, uh, from one of those boxes, which I purchased before. So let's have a look where we got it. Oh, right, it is a Japanese one. I'm sorry for that one. Japanese exterior. And I want to see how many boxes I got. So, you will see, um, not emblems, it was an inscription. There we go. We got one New Year inscription. So if you get the New Year inscription, you're kind of boned because yes, they are not often there and you can't get them often, but the problem is there's only one of them and one of them is worth 50 gold. So if you get an inscription, you are not really getting your worth out. And this, this with the credits it's okay with the credits it stays the same and obviously if you get something higher than one day or 250 gold then you are even better off so what's the math behind that if we now theoretically get 250 gold per box and another 250 gold per box well what is this we have now 700 we have 250 times three 750 and we hmm, just do that again. We get again something worth this amount of money. And we get a 1,500 1, gold worth of stuff we get just from the boxes. Excuse me, I almost threw over my microphone. So let's try to get the same amount of gold. So for the same amount of gold, we pay 6 Swiss francs 69. And right now we pay, as you can see, well, 6.45 per box. So, you, are, you have the chance to be unlucky and get something like an inscription, which is not worth a lot. It's worth signi significantly less. But, in the end, the math checks out. So, now let's try to calculate how much you would get for 75 boxes. Well, it's the same calculation. We just changed this here and this here. If you buy 75 boxes, chances are that you get 300, um, we got 37,500 37, gold or stuff worth 37,500 5, 37, gold. So if we put this into, you can see we are paying almost 30 Swiss francs more, which is roughly 30 dollars or 25 euros more. So if you do not really care what you exactly get out of such said boxes, if it's premium time or gold, then at the moment you are much better off buying those boxes because they give you a lot more for your money. And now we can once again do our little math about will we get our type 95 after 75 boxes or what are the, what are the odds that we are not getting anything out of those boxes out of the 75 boxes where we at least had a good discount 
Um, oops, I made a little mistake here. I obviously do not need to multiply that. The chances are that after 75 boxes we didn't got the type 95 are still 47%. If we have a chance of 1% getting the type 95. So, the boxes are worth if you are not into getting, um, if you don't care what you exactly get, if it's premium time, if it's credits or if it is gold. And obviously if you get a T28 E5 or a AC1 Sentinel or a Panzerkampfwagen B2, it doesn't really matter either because they have worth more gold into them. And if you are lucky and get one of those tanks, that's incredible. So yeah, I guess it is time that we are going to unbox the last three boxes I got, which I just brought with the money I have. <laughs> And well, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's traditional ones because I want to get this traditional stuff together. The first box is 500,000 credits, which obviously puts us above the estimated 500 gold per box. As 500,000 credits, we can have a look how much 500,000 credits is worth. Obviously, I would not really like to get 500,000 credits as I have no problem at all grinding that money together. But as you can see, it is worth 1,250 gold. And we can also have a look if one of those boxes also can roll up to 1,000 gold. So actually you have a little bit better chance if you're getting money. You get more gold out of your, out of your money. But in the end, money you can grind. So let's unbox the next box, the, third, uh, the second one. And this one is a standard box, which is in my opinion not good as I'm getting less out of my money for the credits, because credits I can easily farm. But we got lucky with those Archangel and Puppy. Now, I guess it is time we are unboxing the last box. We are now 15 boxes in and, well, we are kind of okay, I guess. We didn't get anything. We got one day of premium and 250 gold and an inscription, which is nice. And that's it. Those are the last three boxes I had for my spare money. So. As you can see, I'm now 20, uh, I'm 15 boxes into this, um, into this lottery. And in this 15 boxes, I got one tier four tank and none tier eight premium tank. Even though it would be great if I would get a tier eight premium tank as it would be the T26 E5, as they are going to change up all the tanks I already have. So, and one last note for the people which actually want to get a type 95. I do have the tank, I'm planning to make a review tomorrow, I guess. And I can tell you like this, the name Hype95, uh, Hype59, Jesus, I, 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 I really dislike those numbers. <laughs> Hype59 is really something you should go after because yes, it is a special tank, but it's really overrated in my opinion. It's really overrated. I'm happy that they buffed it a little bit and I do have quite an, a fair amount of battles in this tank, but it's a really hyped tank. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the math. I, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I try to dissect this a little bit, show you a little bit the mathematical way of solving such issues. And as always, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.